How you doing, pretty girl? Trying to close on the thing. Come on. What are you doing? <laughs> Rose likes to give me a hug in the morning. Don't you? Wanna give me a hug? Give me a hug? <laughs> give me a big old hug. Yeah. Morning everybody, Jason Rose, Holly Farms. Had a bunch of rain last night. It's a little bit cooler this morning, but still not cold. Don't warm up. I think it's gonna stay in the 60s today instead of the 70s. But anyway, fire went off the house last night. No excuse. I had my phone alarm on, but I didn't get up just too early, so. Me and Rose fix to make around, do a little feed, and do a little look and see how wet it is. And, uh, just see what all we can get into. We'll make a day out of it somehow. All right, y'all. So me and Rose made it back. Didn't do a whole lot down there, but do some feeding. And I got the golf cart out, and I rode down here to the shop on the 570 Ranger, and I had an idea I'm going to show y'all, and I've never done it myself exactly side by side. Uh, we're going to do a little comparison on the size of these two, the full size and the mid size. And then uh, I think I'm going to do a little cleaning up on this, uh, the new EV. Probably about the last time I do that, and the only time. But uh, yeah, but we're going to do a little bed comparison and whole body comparison and uh, chassis comparison. All right, so I told y'all the beds were different. Let's see. So, to the inside of the tailgate, about 37 inches on the full size gas one, and on the mid size chassis, what was that, 37? That's 30, about 32 and a half, so five inches shorter on that. Let's see, the inside of the big body bed is right at 54. Let's get in here. Just give you a little idea how much narrower it is. 54 and about a little over 46. So that's what eight inches narrower. I tell you what, I had thought about one time having a, a narrow gas powered one for hunting because it ain't much bigger than a four wheeler. About go anywhere. So that's a pretty good bit of difference. The height you can see is about the same. We're just narrower and shorter. When you get in here, the seat sometimes if you haul three people you'll you'll really kind of see that about 52 on the seat width on the big one i mean this is really pretty tight for just two so you know 47 so that's five inches narrow i mean you can fit three but you can you can see the difference. That's a pretty good bit of difference. But the height is about the same, shorter. Good size. I, I like this size for just, if you're just going to be hunting. If you're just going to be hunting, I mean, this is my opinion, you know, uh, and not hauling a bunch of feed and stuff like, uh, like I do or we do or whatever and hauling a bunch of people, that small body, they made a... At one time, they was making that small one, mid-size or whatever they called it. And I, see, the 570 was fuel injected, I think. Y'all don't quote me, but I think. And then they had a four something that still had a carburetor on it, which I like the fuel injected, but, and it was in that small body. That wouldn't be a bad deal there. Cause I mean, if you're just going hunting and going to have the bed for, even if you're hauling a little feed and then, uh, oh, uh, hauling a deer out or whatever it'd be perfect i like that size i get tired of these big and sometimes about like driving a truck all right i'm going to drive this electric one up here to the barn we're going to put a little water on it and kind of check a few things out and i'm still a little concerned with these tires i had one guy comment made a little sense that one tire being uh what 26 another than 25 is messing with the four wheel drive a little bit that makes some sense there before I get too deep in it and using it, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably get them back right because the stock tires that I got over there they were all 25, so maybe it was all that was available. I don't know, but uh, I'm gonna get that right before we use it. Still got it in medium. 
I'm on a, uh, well, I tell you what, this thing, uh, I guarantee you with them stock tires, it'd be smooth as glass, but I'm going to probably, I may swap them. I, I don't know. I can't make my mind up. All right, that's in high. Let's see what it. That thing will get up and go in high. And you got that good ride. That's what's so nice. Yeah, this thing's gonna be right, y'all. I mean, it's gonna be right. I think I'll probably keep it medium most of the time. Cause I'm, uh, I'm not usually in a big hurry. I'll tell y'all what I might do, the guy that works on our Rangers, I don't know how much of this electric stuff he's worked on. I'm not too concerned with that. I may carry it to him and let him just go over everything just in case so I don't miss nothing and make sure everything's right. And uh, just let him look at that. But I am uh, so far. I gotta work on this emergency brake too. I don't like not having a not having an emergency brake. Alright so I told y'all a little bit about this windshield but I didn't show y'all. Just undo them and then uh pretty Pretty neat how it, it's tight too. It go go right up under there. Then you just wrap this unit around here and uh, hook it. I like it. About the only thing I could see that might ever tear up some little rubber straps. They just bolted through right there. You know, sunshine probably. I like it. Get a little air coming through there. That's all a fella needs. I need to look and see what's under here. I don't know if I want to take this off. I may not get it back on. I'm not sure what holds that on. I'm not too concerned with taking it off. What holds that on? That whole front cap comes off. We ain't really worried about it. It ain't much under there, I don't think. Nah, not enough to worry with. I do think the whole front cap would probably come off right there if we wanted it to but I really don't want to the motor and all batteries things pretty doggone clean it ain't gonna take much to clean this one up it ain't like one I, that I've been using a while wonder if I can, I think I can adjust on this brake. That thing I may be wore out though. Looks like it needs a new pad in there. Let's see. Let's look at it. There's going to be some adjustment on that thing we might can do. A lot of times people ride these things on the trailer that roll back and forth and wear that out. All right, I got a call. Hey, right, y'all, let's spray a little water on this unit. It ain't got just a, a ton of mud on it. It ain't nearly like when I washed my Ranger the other day. Get a little soak on. The main thing I want to do is clean the bird mess off that windshield. You can tell it's been sitting up with this way the old mud kind of just flaking off. Somebody told me I could get them little push locks. what they say? Harbor Freight or somewhere? They to do that or put some rivets in it. I like tinkering with this stuff. Pretty good bit of mud right there. Alright, I'm going to take a little brush out, brush this bed a little bit. people will be happy. I ain't got the power washer out, but 
Eu acho, né? Eu não sei. Spray me a little soap on this unit to pump up sprayer. Knock a little more of that dirt off. and how she's cleaning up. It's gonna be all right. Oh, most of the underside and the back done. We'll brush out. serious with this brush. I would like to kind of start with my own mud a little bit. And then we're probably going to wash it. Coming pretty clean. I'm pretty happy. That looks new on the side. Oh yeah, we're going to be all right. I got one side done. By golly, she's coming out. She ain't new, but coming out pretty good. Work on this other side a minute. Well, that sun's a little bright, but by golly, she come out pretty clean. Ain't near scratched up like if I had it for, let's see, what it, 12, 8, 9, 11 years. Graphics on the side are not even hardly scratched. It had a little bit come out. Of course, some's already washed down, but it wasn't just too bad. Could have been a could have been a lot worse. I think we got a cream puff out there. This concrete cleaned up and put her back in the shop. doing wrong I'm hearing a little brake noise I think it's on that emergency brake we're going to work on that feels kind of funny getting on a Ranger that don't crank I tried to crank it this thing's gonna be nice y'all I can tell them tires is it's kind of like on the beast, pretty rough. I'm either gonna find me a set of, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I'd like it better with them little stock tires on it. We'll just have to see. Windshield's pretty clean though. It could use a little wiping down with a little uh, glass cleaner or something. All in all, this thing's a cream puff. I like it. All right, we're back in the noise world now. There's a use for all of them. All right, y'all, let's get to today's Bible verse. Still on the word anger. Psalms chapter 6, verse 1. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger, nor chasten me in your wrath. All right, y'all, pretty good day today. The little feeding this morning had rose out for a little while. I just had PJ out for me and there. I get Bobo out in just a little bit. Oh, compared the Gas Ranger 570 big body to the midsize Ranger EV. Got her cleaned up pretty good, too. Let's keep tinkering with her, get her like we want it before we really start using it. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.